it's asking us, is the square root of 150 rational or irrational? Okay, so I have the square root of 150. So this here, I'm going to write in math out. So this here is square root of 150. So it's asking us, is the square root of 150 rational or irrational? So what we want to do here, first we have to figure out, is so the square root of 150 a perfect square? And in order for us to do that, we could actually use, um, we can use a couple of strategies here. We could use prime factors. Um, we can use uh, long division uh, to figure this out. So I'm going to use, uh, personally, I like the simplified radical form better. So I'm going to use, I'm going to take out the prime factors of 150 here. So 150, I know it's an even number. I'm going to take out a 2 here, right? So I take out a 2. I'm going to divide this number by 2 here. So 150 divided by 2 is, I believe, 75. And then with 75, I can break this down even more, right? So again, I know that I have root 2 first. Uh, root, se root 75 here is... Uh, not even, so I can't take out a 2 anymore, but I know it's divisible by 3, right? So we take out a root 3 here. And then we can get whatever, thir uh, 35, or 3 divided by, um, uh, 75 divided by 3, which I believe is 25. And then I know the root of 25 here equals 5, right? So I simply root 2 times root 3 times 5 here. So this would simplify to five, and the root two times root three is simply root six here. So this here is my solution for uh, the prime factor of 150. And now I have to ask myself, is this irrational or rational? And the, re and the answer here is irrational, right? And the, why, the reason why this is irrational here is because of this root six here. Root six is irrational. So root 6 is rational, and the reason why is that if you did the uh, long division of root 6 here, you're going to realize that this number is going to go, um, it goes on forever and ever. Um, and we can solve for that using long division, but I'm not going to do that for you. Um, but basically, if um, a, a, you can assume that if a square root here does not give you a perfect square, it's going to be a rational number. So um, uh, for all integers only. So this here is our irrational number, and this here, the solution here is correct, right? The square root of 150 is irrational, and any square root that's not a whole number, not a decimal, is a rational number, meaning that the number never ends. So the solution here is correct. It's good analysis as well. And then what we can do is um, we, can we can utilize prime factors. Prime factors to see if uh, the see if the square root 150 is a perfect square. If not, then the answer must be rational for all integer numbers. So the solution here is correct.